Uh, good day, everyone. Um, I'm going to be doing in this Field of Glory uh, Wolves at the Gates. I'm going to be playing a couple of these historical battles here. Uh, just a lot of them I'm not too thrilled about. And this one here, for example, the Battle of the Yarmouk, I'm going to show you why. And uh, initially, I think it may be a little bit easier playing the Byzantine Romans, but I'm going to be playing the Arab Saracens. And this is going to be a tough battle. I'm going to show you why. So let's accept it. And it's at the governor level. I'm sure you make it a little easier playing it at the easier levels because you get more units. But uh, first of all, I do want armored lancers and uh, get as many spearmen as possible. And I got 18 left and accept. And uh, what's as you can see here, it tells you like in a briefing, the Byzantine army is deployed across a very wide front, hoping to control the space between the Roman roads and deep ravines of the Wadis feeding into the Yarmouk River. This left gaps between four divisions. The Wadis are impassable due to their steep slip sides. So I, this really not true. Uh, you just have a division of four forces here. Uh, you got this little river. And what it's doing is it's trying to entice you, you know, to move up here and, and, and put your enemy in a disadvantage. But the problem is, and here you don't have that problem at all. Oh, my gosh, you know. And the problem is with the Byzantines is that most of their army was cav armored cavalry, which is historically accurate, and the infantry assisted. Uh, this is uh, the Saracen infantry here is much is better than this infantry, but the problem is with these little groups here. All they have to do is use their weaker infantry to engage, and then they can get you with the cavalry. And there's only a limited amount of reserve cavalry, and uh, Roman cavalry is adequate to deal with this cavalry here. And over here you have the Gasnavid allies, Roman allies. They got a lot of light cavalry. And what am I supposed to do with these few units here and a tiny group of men? They're going to get surrounded on both sides. So this here, this historical battle, you know, really sets you up for failure. It's not even historically accurate. But yet it's, it's going to be a challenge anyways. That's why I prefer the campaigns where I get to choose the units that I get to buy or purchase and then it gives me a piece of terrain and I get to set up the whole army. I don't like to spread out armies into like this here. I like to keep it well together where they could coordinate with each other. So the, this is a real clusterfuck right off the bat. And even if you're playing the Romans, it's the same way, but you do have more missile units a lot more missile units and you have a lot more cavalry so this is going to be a really uh, difficult battle to win and the only thing I can do I can see doing is uh, these missile units are going to be ground down to nothing eventually by this cavalry here so the only thing I can see them doing is is to retreating uh, one of them to this little city built up area here and a couple of them in the woods and used his cavalry, you know, move them backwards. And these guys here need to, you know, need to move down here towards this road and try to get, join up with the rest. And I think what I'm going to do over here is, no, I'm not going to advance because this will get, yes, I may win some battles on this I can win on this flank here probably quite easily, but the problem is if I start engaging in the others, I'm going to lose on the right flank here, and eventually they're going to come sweeping down, and I may get some initial 
uh, initial percentage advantages, but eventually it's going to equalize, and I'm probably going to end up losing. So that this is a really terrible, terrible situation. I don't. I mean, even like the most difficult battles to fight are against Parthian, you know, Hunnic type armies. But if your army is connected very well, you know, if you look at my video on the Battle of Shalans where I play the Romans and the Visigoths against the Huns and their allies, there's a continuous line and I'm able to do some maneuvering and all that. And a maneuver is what ended up winning, even though it was a close battle. But this here is just a terrible, terrible setup. And it's really not historically accurate because... The Battle of the Yarmouk really, it took six days. And it was just six days of you know, daily battles in some sectors and then moving back. But this you're just supposed to do like in one thing, so. And it's a really bad, bad setup. So what I'm going to do is, I think what I, uh, I'm going to form a line. Start over here and form a line down here angle it this way on this hill and maybe anchor it against this river and then form another line down all the way down through to this settled area and maybe down here yeah I kind of do it just combine the whole army and just just try to lure them and then use the cavalry to launch flanking counterattacks I think that's the only thing I'm gonna do to possibly try to get do as much damage as possible so I guess I'm gonna this is a real weak unit this Bedouin foot All right, I'm gonna start moving this is the weakest unit here only three units I'm going to start moving them. See, and they're not... And the problem is, even though the Saracen infantry was much more maneuverable, and they should almost move like light units, but they don't. They move like a heavy, any heavy units. So it's not like they can retreat really fast. They retreat slow, so this is a problem too. So first I just have to... See, I don't have any movement points, and I have to move them that away. This one can start moving towards the city here. Uh, this cavalry can start running. And I'm going to start putting these guys in the woods, just so they can hold up the cavalry, nothing else. I mean, they don't stand a chance against all this Gasnavid cavalry here. And this uh, Saracen Cavalry can turn and move. Same with these guys. They need to start moving. Moving, moving down towards the left. Hope they don't get caught by cavalry, but that's why I'm going to be using this cavalry to counter any of their cavalry as a screen mostly. I'm going to do the same with this one. They're going to be moving away. Just form a line along this ridge anchored with this forest. I'm going to put one unit in the forest here and I'm going to anchor this line. So I'm kind of, well, not really corner camping, but, you know, if they set you up poorly, you know, then, you know, I'm going to. I'm going to do what's best for me, whatever the game allows me to do, because they, 
the Romans have so much more cavalry and eventually they can start engaging with their inferior infantry but then they can flank me and just start knocking out my units with the cavalry I'm gonna move this guy back here to kinda of join a big cavalry line and I think I'm gonna be using the road here to move the infantry to the right positions and I think that's all I can do right now hopefully I can run fast enough <laughs> Run, run, run. I think I'm going to put him... Put this one in here. And I want to retreat uh, just to... Alright, let's next turn. Like my missile units, they're just going to be sacrificial lambs. I don't have that many. They even have massed archers and everything, and that's going to be very annoying. Yeah, see how many, look how many units they have. It's tremendous. Yeah. Terrible setup. Uh, set you up to fail. Actually, playing both sides, though, I think it's a little easier playing the Romans because of the cavalry superiority. Now, let's... Let's continue running away. And once we get on the road here, I think I can move a lot quicker towards where I need to go. These are the ones I'm really going to be concerned about. Let's keep the screen... Get on that road. Get into the city to Yeah, these are light javelin men, just they just only have one shot. I mean a Jason Hex shot. I can put them in the woods here face this way I may put this one up here so they're just gonna fight to the death and these guys just need to get the hell out let's unite this cavalry I don't want them to get in the way of my infantry face this guy this way now setup is the most important thing in these games but uh, do have some rough terrain here that they're gonna have to traverse I may even set up a situation where I can since the cavalry is not that abundant here, once the screening is over, I may even move my, I'm probably going to move my cavalry. I think it's a good idea to start moving them. I think this infantry is going to reach its target. I mean, I even think of building a line. Now these woods here are going to be a little bit too far. The line's going to come down here. Okay, I hope these guys can run away. <laughs> Really what I'd like to do is I'd like to build a nice infantry line here that cannot be assailed and then send my cavalry around and maybe hit them from the rear and just start breaking one line after this line and then just 
go down. They're probably going to wrap around me. That's what I want them to do. Kind of lame, but the setup is lame, so... This is, the, I mean, these three guys have been getting assaulted by this cavalry and then part of this infantry. Uh, no, I don't see, I really don't see any, a chance at all. Okay, these. Let's move. And you may say, well, use that rough terrain. Well, what good is it if you're going to get surrounded and outflanked? I mean, I can also form squares, but the way these things are set up, I mean, once an infantry attacks one unit, it's going to expose a flank. Even if you form a type of a square, you need a lot more units to form an effective square. Oh, let's uh, let's just uh, use the sacrificial lamb here, just so my infantry units don't get assaulted by missile units. I think I've done everything here. Let's make sure I don't miss anything in trying to get this line united. United we stand, divided we fall. So well, that's how it is. I think that's how it goes. Okay, I'm going to anchor myself on those woods here with a weaker unit and then just try to build a line. I don't know how this is going to work out, but but I've looked at other options and they're not they're not effective at all. Yeah, frontal charge. Yes, you'll win on the left, but then your right just gets completely butchered and eventually these uh, light units are going to run out of missile fire so by the time the main engagement starts that's why I prefer the campaigns where I can purchase choose the units and it'll give me a random terrain or a terrain specifically you know, suited for the battle, but then I can choose where to deploy the units right at the battle start. And unfortunately, with these historical battles, don't have the luxury, don't have the choice for deployment. I'm going to start uh, deploying a line here. That should be good. Let's get as far away as possible. So I'm going to angle a line here right down to the river. One, two. Yeah, that should be fine. Right down to the river. And then I'm going to build another line right around here. Get as far away as possible. It is some crappy terrain here. This unit's not that good. Let's just keep on. Whoa, I may even get one to route. That would be great. Get as close as possible. Let's get to the road. I think. I think then you're going to have better movement towards where I need to go. OK, 
Okay, I'm more concerned about this one, but uh, this one can get caught, so I think I need to get down to this road. Yeah, I need to get down to this road. This is the one I'm concerned about. Let's get down to this road and just march down here. And I think uh, at that point we can I can connect, probably using these woods as an anchor and a city. Okay, you get in here. And turn around and fire. Will not hurt just in case. Uh, anything adjacent here, I can fire javelins out of the woods. And in the meantime, this cavalry. I like to keep the cavalry together if I can. Just one big mass. Nothing worse than getting your leader killed. I'd rather put the, uh, the Romans in a worse position. I think I can get this anchored here and start a good line. And I'll put the cavalry here ready to come out here and get behind them. Maybe I can even get Vahan and expose the leader and just chop them down. I'm doing a lot of dreaming right now, but I know he's going to get shot, but this this core here needs to get to this road and have these woods cover and possibly form a line here. I'm going to continue the line here and see how that works. And then spring with the cavalry from behind. I just don't want to get caught. That's the whole thing. All right, next turn. So many more missile units. That's just. At least I get some shots here. And it's gonna, and that's the thing is, that crossing this wadi here is gonna take them time. That's gonna delay the infantry too, and the cavalry. So that's why I think I can get away. I think they meant to set me up to, you know, move forward, but that ends up in disaster, as divided as the armies are. All right, I do get some shots here, and I mean, they're going to fall eventually, but all right, and uh, I want to face them that direction. Face that direction. I think I'm good that way. And you.
let's get the cavalry mass behind here because when they start advancing and coming down here then I can attack them at least I can get some archers <coughs> and some other units get the whole Saracen cavalry They're just going to form a line here. <clears throat> I think that'll be good. Just want him, this sub general here, I don't want him charging. if he can come down and charge but that could be ah, this rough terrain here that would be foolish I think yeah well he can charge if he wants I think I'll counter charge I'll counter charge with the cavalry. I can screen them. Uh, let's see if I can get this one to route. Not quite, but this one is holding up. is cutting it close uh, we're just gonna keep on going down gonna keep on going down and then just on uh, this terrain here and just meet up with the rest of the army <clears throat> cavalry can screen down to that road and run as quickly as you can. Now I get a shot. Here you're disrupted. Let's throw some javelins out of the woods. Held firm to giving him some casualties here. So this is gonna be a little pocket. Of resistance and uh, let's see how this turns out I hope I don't get caught real quickly They're going to start running out of arrows soon. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's going to be the problem, but it is delaying him a little bit. Keep on running. Turn around, hold our ground here. Get over here. Maybe I'm probably got a position to form a line here. All right. <clears throat> All right, this unit can screen. This is a real weak Bedouin foot. I do want to get my cavalry. I want to use my cavalry for the operations I intended. I think now I can start forming a line here. Screening with the cavalry. I think I can form a line here. I think that'll be fine. I don't think I'm going to get flanked. And once again... I think my position is pretty good right now. Yeah, I just don't want to. Yeah, I don't think he's going to charge because of this unit here, so I can form the line. Put one here, put one there. Yeah, start forming a line here. And probably form another line here and anchor with the woods. This is the only one I'm worried about. I 
I do need them, so I'm going to move them here. Yeah, get behind. These guys need to march and get behind the woods real quickly, or just move far down possible. All right, next turn, let's draw some blood. They serve their purpose. I didn't shoot with that one, but that's okay. But I guarantee you that one in the town here in the little city is going to hold up a lot of these units for a while. Okay, they held firm good. So this little enclave here is going to be resisting like crazy, just firing and resisting, but it'll finally fall. But I didn't want that Gaston with light cavalry to move. All right, he didn't dare to attack. Well... Turn around here. We move forward. All right, I got a line going now. And let's continue moving the cavalry for its intended purpose. And that is to break out here and just, while these units here are anchored, do a flanking attack. And yeah, let's suck these in here and then just do a flanking attack and just roll up the whole flank. That's really what I want to do. <laughs> Yeah, but in the meantime, let's bring these units and continue the line. Eventually they can turn around. Yeah, once they reach this position here, they can turn around and form a line here. And yeah, I don't think the Romans are going to catch them. Only these guys, these are guys that are the only ones I'm worried about. But let's go down. Let's keep on running away. If I have to, to the edge of the board and then behind the woods. And this one needs to rejoin the cavalry. I'm just going to combine the whole. All right. Put this one in here just to just for screening purposes. So these guys can't charge down, so I can just screen these. If I can at least flank this these guys here. But 
I know the cavalry is not going to charge into these, but I want to bring this entire air cavalry on the extreme left and then just come down. If I catch all these uh, these Roman units in a pocket, I can my maneuver can be successful. But I just have to build a line here. I think the line can hold. And if I can get these three units down here to kind of cover, you know, use these forests as an anchor and cover as a flank, or right here just to keep any keep the cavalry from getting behind my spearmen, I should be able to do okay. All right. Uh, I think my guy in the city here can fire. It's going to be like a little mini Stalingrad. <laughs> Maybe. Alright, so. I think the city has better. That can't be good. I mean, they're in the city. I'm glad they're concentrating on them. That's good. At least it gives my uh, spear units a chance to escape and not get tangled up. Here come the Romans with their legions. They're late legions. This is a long battle. They move their cavalry down the board, so then by the time my cavalry gets behind, they're not going to be able to counter those that cavalry attack. So I want their cavalry to be right behind their infantry, protecting them. Yeah, that's good. Well, that was the sacrificial lamb. There's some w very weak units. I said, I don't know if this is going to work, but I don't see anything else. All right, move here. Move there. Start bringing these units up. I'm going to... Let's bring them down and then move them up towards these guys. to the woods and just move on this road here. This one's resisting here. this one in the, one in the woods there and now let's continue 
bringing up the heavy cavalry towards the striking positions. may be able to charge in these guys and then just get away. But that's what I try to use is I try to use my whole cavalry as just one big force. I know these guys are going to die, but he's going to attack. He's going to, I think he's going to get cut off. It's a sub-general. Just keep on holding. That's good. I don't think I'm going to get picked off too quickly, so. Oh, this is a. <laughs> this little town's just causing a lot of problems. Get yeah, a Roman cavalry is starting to move forward. And yeah, my guys are getting picked off. That's the only problem, but. Hope my trap that I'm setting is going to work. I just want him to go into that little. Oh, this is brutal. <laughs> They're going to die. All right, I can build the line over here. Ah, this is this is a little bit tricky right now. Problem is this unit got advanced too quickly. Uh, let's bring these guys. Get the hell out of there. Let's try to get up here and then just form a line right down along here. I should not have moved them. I should have kept them there. Damn it. But I don't think he's going to try a flank attack if I'm going to be moving up with this these spearmen here and then form a line there. Now what do I do? Okay, cavalry. May need one cavalry or two. Let's get down here.
Keep one cavalry unit in there. Screen. All right, and uh, let's bring in the rest. That was the point I was worried about is getting caught, but. But I still think I can pull it off here. No, don't do that. Fall back, yeah. And then form another line right here. I think that's the best I can do till I bring these guys here. I think I can even anchor one guy over here. Yeah, I don't think, I think I'll do all right. Yeah, this one's gonna break just by default. Yeah, poor guy. Except the only thing is with the damn cavalry is that they chase all the time and they could get caught up. So I did get that missile unit, but it is chasing. My cavalry has to chase, of course. Um. But I do get behind, so... Keep this going. My whole Saracen cavalry. up. And really I need to start breaking these units so I can turn these, pivot these guys and
No, not like that. Like that. Screen. Move. Face over here. Screen over here. And I think the infantry can move up. If I can move them up and then uh, form a line right here with anchoring against the city, I think I'll be fine. Even charges, I mean, these are spearmen, so. And let's see what I can do here. I want that infantry to move up and get in position first before I launch an all-out attack. Uh, it's just over here. I could get some Gargus, but if I can turn around, I do have zone of control. And get these three units to cover the flank here. One, two, and three. Perfect. But I do have a couple gaps, but I think I can alleviate that with some counterattacks. <coughs> Yeah, the light cavalry is just a well I may be able to start engaging because my infantry has okay pull back yeah fall back good Not that. That better? They can flank charge, can they? Well, it's still not. Let's go this way. And we're just going to come up back here. This guy wants to come down, then this infantry is going to attack. But yeah, they have their screened by the woods here. That's what I wanted happen. I think. I think. Now what am I doing here? I 
can start coming out of the woodwork here with this cavalry. All right, let's go over here. Khalid Iman Walid. Let's get out. Do exactly what we're meant to do. Engage. It's not a good idea to attack the cavalry, but so let's keep that. But I think. Good, they're fragmented. Let's hit them over here. Start engaging on that flank. Yes. All right, we got the superiority here, so I can start advancing. Start advancing. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be a good... Let's keep this cavalry in check. And now I'm going to start pushing in this direction and then surround, hit these archers with the cavalry and start the battle over here. Okay. I don't want to get outflanked or anything, so I think I'm fine here. Until this infantry turns around and comes in into play, I don't think there's anything that can stop it. Just, just form a line right here. So I think this is a good time. All right, so let me see what else I can do. I don't think I'm doing too bad here. I think this whole line's going to collapse, and then I can just turn and just go down the row here and just keep on picking off the Roman units one by one. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, this is no good. This needs to hold. I need to push up here. I know Kenny, he could probably attack my flank here, but uh, let's wait. Let's see what they can do. See what, what the Romans do. Then I'll take a break. They got a long ways to go, so I think I'm okay. Like to get Vahan. They're turning around. Where are they going? They get lost or something? Or maybe they can't see. That's never a good idea to charge into spear infantry.
Amazing, they just hold firm. All right, I did get... All right, facing in this direction. And let's come to the rescue here. Let's hold this and then this unit can gradually move. These three can come up here just in time. Yeah, they're broke. Time for the cavalry to break out. There we go. Let's pump some shot into these guys. run into the infantry so I'm just going to pull that whole cavalry unit maybe it'll get a flank charge over here that would be nice let's attack here 51 to 0 oh, they just They just hold firm, don't they? This is drawish. But I am pushing them here, so this... I'd like to get that cavalry and just route all these units here. And then just build another line here and then possibly just keep on using the cavalry to get in the rear and just keep on doing flanking maneuvers. I think I'm good here so far. I think I just got to move these units up and get them on the line here so there's no flanking maneuver. And like I said, the main battle here is on the left. So, so far the Romans are winning, but I think that's just a temporary. I just stay right there for now. I don't think I may want to wheel these guys here. So, all right, I think that's a good time to end this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. There'll be a part two of this, the Battle of the Yarmouk.